Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and if you're new to the channel, my name is Steve. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to catch a shark. It's going to be a basic tutorial, what to do to bring a shark in and to get that shark on your boat, okay? Um, I'm going to be keeping the line help on, so rather than relying on telling you um, how to feel the vibrations in the controller, you're going to see the line and you're going to see the colours of the line changing and hopefully that'll help you bring it in. You'll know what to do and what not to do as well, okay guys? But, before I get into that, I want you to do me a favour. I want you to take that subscribe button and I want you to smash it clean in the face. Smash the subscribe button, guys. It only takes a second. And I want to get up to 100 subscribers. It was my birthday yesterday. And I want to get up to 100 subscribers. So do me a favour. If you enjoy my videos. If you enjoy the channel. Hit the like button. And smash that subscribe button. Help me get up to 100 subscribers. Alright guys. But for now. Let's go catch that bloody shark. Right, okay, here we are, guys. Um, this is one of my personal favourite locations for catching sharks. I've caught bullhead sharks, uh, tiger sharks, mako sharks, all here. Um, I've caught them with the casting rod. I've caught them with the spinning rod. So what we've got today is we've got the casting rod and casting reel, salt water, both. And I've also got the spoon lure on. You can see that for there. Um, now hopefully <coughs> we're gonna catch a fish that's small enough to attract a shark. Now keep an eye on the line and I'll talk through the colours and uh, hopefully this video will help you catch a shark, okay? Not just catch a shark but actually bring it in and get it on the boat, okay guys? So here we go, let's cast in. Now obviously I'm going to be keeping an eye out for the pale red line, which will show you when something is interested. Now obviously because I'm playing on expert mode, I don't know where any of the fish are in the water. I don't have the fish finder, and I don't have the fish out in the water as well. Um, obviously, if you play on hard, the fish finder will make it a bit easier for you. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's try and... Um, let's try and get something interested. Okay, we got something's interesting. We've got the pale red line. End of the rod is dipping. Now hopefully it'll be something that will attract a shark. Okay. Now when this goes bright red we can hook in. <coughs> okay, so it's running and I'm just gonna leave it run. As soon as it stops. I'm going to start reeling in. When the line goes red, stop. When the fish runs, always pull in the opposite direction, okay guys? If you don't pull in the opposite direction when the fish is running, your line will go blue. And that is a bullhead shark. That is actually a bullhead shark, guys. Line is red. Pull in the opposite direction. Pull in the opposite direction. Line is blue, so we need to really quickly. Line is red, so I'm stopping. And you've got to get the snap. 
Now when it jumps like that guys, you've got to get the snap like I just did. Otherwise you will lose the fish, okay? When the line goes red, I stop. Line is green so he's tired. So we're gonna reel, reel, reel. Opposite direction. Nice and steady, opposite direction. Opposite. Stop when it goes red. Now even right to the last minute, you can see the line going red, so you've got to watch. Well there we go guys, that's not too bad. That is a Japanese bullhead shark. It's an epic fish. And we brought him in, brought him in with a, a spoon lure. I'm going to keep that. And this time I'm going to cast back out in the same direction. And we're going to see if we can get something on that will attract one of the bigger sharks, okay? Okay, here we go. Let's try and get a bigger shark this time. I've got something interested straight away. Let's hope it's something that... Uh, Maybe a nice tiger shark would uh, fancy a bite of. He's taking his time. There go. Line is blue, so you've got to reel, reel, reel because it's too slack. Pull in the opposite direction for the fish. Reel, reel, reel so it's not too slack. Yes, here we go, guys. He's got a mako shark on. I'm going to leave him run. Leave him run, leave him run, leave him run. I'm going to get straight back out there guys, I don't know what that was. Okay, we've got something on. Let's hope it's going to be a little snack for a shark. It's running very quickly, so I don't think it's going to attract a big shark. It's actually another bullhead shark, guys. It's another Japanese bullhead. I missed the snap when it jumped. So real steady, pull in the opposite direction. Get the snap. You could hear the snap there. Because if you don't get the snap, they run further out, okay? So avoid the red, make sure you pull in the opposite direction, then we are tired so I can reel, reel, reel. Got the snap there as well guys. Making sure to keep the line white. Stop when it starts to go red. Get the snap in the opposite direction. There we are, he's tired, it's gone green. Real, 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 real. Okay, just take it nice and steady now because he's almost in. Well, there we go, guys. That's uh, another Japanese bull head. I got a feeling the bigger sharks are out here, so uh, we'll uh, we'll see if we can get one on. Let's 
Let's oh here we go. Let's see if we can get lucky and get a bigger shark on. Right, here we go guys. There's a Mako shark on. Leave the line run. And we're on. Pull in the opposite direction. Keep an eye on the line teller, guys, okay? Pull in up. And reel. Pull in the opposite direction. Get the snap. Now you saw the snap, he's tired, look, the line's gone green. Pull in the opposite direction. Avoid the blue. If that line goes blue, you've got to really quick feel. Pull in the opposite direction every time, guys. Avoid the blue line. Get the snack. Pull in the opposite direction. Real, 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 because it's blue. Get those snacks, guys. There we are, he's tired. So reel as quick as you can. If you don't get the snack, the shark will run. And you are very likely going to lose. You are very likely going to lose there. Get the snack, okay? Be aggressive with the snack. Blue, green, so reel like hell. Right, avoid the red. Real like hell. Just gently pulling in the opposite direction. Nice and steady at this point, guys. Watch my hands, okay? Here we go, he's tired, Docs. You can reel. Bringing him in nice and slow. See it. I'm just keeping that line white. Nice and steady guys, don't panic with it. And there we go. And how's that guys? Mako shark, rare fish. 1429 pounds. On a beautiful yacht. In a beautiful location. Don't panic with it. Leave the shark run to start with. With the line help on, just keep an eye on the colour of the line. For me, I think the most important part is when the shark runs, you pull in the opposite direction. When the shark jumps, you've got to get that aggressive snap. You've got to get that aggressive snap like that, okay? And that... That's how you catch a shark. Uh, well, there we are, guys. Um, that was the shark tutorial. Now, I was expecting to catch one shark. We ended up catching three. Well, and one that got away for some reason. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. Um, take note of the line colour. If you're using line help, um, Always pull away from the shark when it's running to avoid the blue line. When the shark jumps, you've got to get that snap. If you don't get the snap when they jump, you're going to make it really, really difficult for yourselves to land that shark, okay? Um, just take your time with it. As long as you're reeling steady, you're keeping it out of the blue, you're avoiding the red line, then you're going to be fine. Just take your time. Like I said, the important thing You've got to get the snap when they jump, okay? If you don't, they'll run further out and you're just gonna... It, it just makes it really hard, okay? Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you could smash that subscribe button, leave a little like and uh, drop me a comment. I love, uh, I love hearing your comments and answering your questions. Um, and for now, until the next time, guys, that's it. And we'll see you around. Bye-bye.